so I just, you know, that's how it is. My next guest is the world-renowned speaker, comic, and author, Judy Carter, and her latest book is The Message of You. Now, she is here today to teach us how our own unique message can touch other people's lives. It's terrific. It really is. Please welcome Judy Carter. It is so good to have you here. I know. I feel like I feel like I want to sit here because I know you so. I just like you. Hi, Judy. Wow, that is so cool. Thank you. So, Judy, your book, it's about finding, uh, finding your message. Explain what that means. Well, everybody has a message because it's the meaning of your life. Uh -huh. And you usually know someone's message, you hear it at their funeral, except if it's your own funeral, wow, of course, a, you're not going to hear it. <laughs> that's an interesting thought, though, really. Yeah, so I wrote this book, The Message of You, because I'm on a mission that everybody knows their message while they're alive. And <laughs> that's really good. Well, it makes you think. It, it does that internal conversation. It's internal, but more than that, when you find your own message and then you speak it, you transform other people. Whether you're speaking from a podium or whether you're in the 10 items or less line at your <laughs> supermarket, you know, we can have that connection with people. You can change people's lives, create a ripple effect of motivation, and you can even make money. Well, that's a beautiful thing. It is. So let me ask a question. You. Um, what are some of the examples of maybe some messages that you found in people that you've talked to? Well, here's the thing. People don't realize how much they know and how much that's worth. So I was teaching the speaking class. That's, that's true. You never know till you say it. Isn't that true? I know, and it just yeah. pops out of people. It's amazing because in this speaking workshop, one of my students, her name is Naomi Lopez, and there were some impressive people in this workshop, and she was going, oh, I didn't go to impressive college. You know, I'm just a stay-at-home mom. Oh. You know, what? Like she was going, what's my message, Judy? Oh my God. 50 ways to make a you know hot dog casserole. <laughs> I don't know how to. I have nothing. Oh, that that's so sad. I think mothers are the most powerful job. It's the it's the most powerful job in the world. Oh, Ab absolutely. That's why I wrote this book. So, so when when she said this to you. What did you say to her? Well, we went to the book and we followed some of the exercises because everybody's message is how they got from a mess in their life to a success in their life. Mm -hmm. And then we look at their eureka moments because experts don't know anything. I mean, I'm finding, I mean, do you remember, I don't know if you know this, but but um, doctors told women who are going through menopause, don't take hormone, you know, to take hormone replacement. They say, stop taking right, it. Right, it's true. And then millions of women went off hormone replacement therapy plunging themselves into menopause and that Marie is the cause of global warming <laughs> I, I'm just saying <laughs> I'm there I'm part of it so with Naomi Lopez I wanted her to know that she was an expert so her mess was she had a child who had behavioral issues and he was screaming tantrums all the time nothing the experts said counted didn't work she got away she found a way for him to calm down hmm. and what she said was I realized looking at it I figured out something really important I found a way to change how I dealt with him during his tantrums and I turned him from a burden to a blessing a week after she had her eureka moment about her message she got a pain speaking engagement what a pain to speak and more than that now she doesn't call herself a just anything she wakes up and she goes I have to tell every mother this that's what that's the power of the Gosh, message don't you. you think our mother's generation they were all about helping each other and it seems like as we are the, the next generation it's all about you know what look how bad you are it makes me feel better about myself and so yeah I like that idea where you go out and you help people so what what was the what do you call it Eureka it's your Eureka moment, moment. what was yours Mine came when, this is, this is crazy, I was asked to speak at the Veterans Hospital, and this was for the Spinal Injury Unit, mm -hmm. and I was going to talk on how to laugh your way out of stress. So I get there, and this man comes over to me, and he says, oh, thank God, I'm so glad you're here, Judy. My son was wounded by an IED in Afghanistan. He's become a paraplegic. He, he 
he has stopped doing his therapy, and the nurses say if he doesn't do his therapy, he's going to die, and he's 21. Oh. I hope you have a good message, and I'm going, oh my God, what am I going to say? I have nothing. What am I going to do? Like, hey, lighten up. Holy You'll goodness. never walk again. Just wear a little clown nose. Woohoo! You know? What did you do? Uh, well, when we're in moments like this, sometimes magic can happen. And all of a sudden, this story came out of me. And I, as a comic, I'm not used to being personal and telling a story. And the story came out of me of my sister, Marcia, who was, uh, she had cerebral palsy. And when she died at 58, I thought maybe two people would be at her funeral. I mean, she couldn't walk, she couldn't talk, she was tube fed, she was incontinent. 200 people came to her funeral. Oh. And each one of them said, do you know, Marsha gave me purpose. Marsha made me feel like I was needed. And I walked up to Nick and I said to him, Nick, you have to do your exercises. You have a message and you get through this you're going to be giving hope to other soldiers Boy, who are I coming back. Boy, I could not agree with you more. And what and what did he, what happened? Well, I went back six months later, and there he was doing his exercises. And I said, "What happened?" He said, "Well, you made me feel like I had something to say. I had a message, and that message is never give up." Because he said, "You know, Judy, there was a doctor who told me I never walk, I never move my hands again." And look at me, Judy. And he brought his hand up and he said, Look at me, Judy. I can almost give that doctor the finger. <laughs> that is so funny. Your, your book is The Message of You. Thank you for being here. And, and it's a great message, you're right. We all have our own reason that we go through what we go through. And to find it and to help somebody else, I believe that. For more information on Judy's book, go to our website. And don't forget to tweet me at Marie Osmond. We'll be right back.